Hello everyone, my name is Rajan Misri and I'm the Senior Applications Engineer with Qualcomm. My name is Robert Wolf, 96 Boards Community Manager for the NARO. And today we're going to be unboxing the Design 4 Camera Mezzanine from D3 Engineering, which works with the Dragon Board 410C, which is a 96 Boards compliant single board computer. So let's bring that camera on in and begin with the unboxing. So like Rajan said, we have the Design Core camera mezzanine right here made by D3 Engineering and we're going to pop this box open. So I, I kind of already ripped the tape, sorry, but uh, let's uh, give it a look. All right. Nice. Nice thank you card from D3 Engineering. Looks good right off the bat. Feeling, feeling good about this. Pop off the foam and it looks like inside we have two little packages. I'm guessing this one is the mezzanine and this one must be the camera. So it does fit the description as, as uh, on the website. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here and kind of create a little workstation here on, on the box. So closing the box back up. Put this right here. Thank you, card. Thank you for watching. We have uh, the mezzanine card now. So I'm going to, you know, rip this, this open first. Great. So kind of break the seal. Look inside. Nice little ESD bag. And voila. There we go. So this is actually a really nice looking board. Really clean made. Um, let me pull this up to the camera. You can see it there. Um, and you know, as you would expect, since it is for 96 boards, you have the two connectors there: uh, high speed connector, low speed connector, plugging right on top of uh, you know your 96 boards. In this case, we're going to be, of course, using the Dragon Board 410C. Um, now, you know, we have this. I'll place this right here. And uh, as as I said, we have the camera here too as well. So let me pop this open. Being a little careful. Great. So this is the OB5640 camera. And uh, as you can see, um, again, just as described on the website, uh, this is what you're going to be plugging right into the mezzanine board, right? So we're going to move on to Rajan, where he's going to start talking about the specifications of this board. We'll point out some of the key features and uh, then maybe plug it into the Dragon Board. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera mezzanine itself. Uh, in the box, you get only one OB5640 CMOS image sensor, but you, there's actually two MIPI CSI lanes, so you can actually connect two of these image sensors to the board. And it also also breaks out a whole bunch of GPIOs on headers J5 and J6. And it has two UARTs, two SPIs, one I2C, or one PCM, and some GPIOs uh, broken out on, on these two headers right here. So like Robert said, it's it's a 96 port compliant header right here and it plugs right into the Dragon board. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to plug in the low speed expansion header first, just to make sure it's all aligned. Push it in and then just snap in the high speed expansion header. And there you go, it plugs right into the Dragon board, really nice and neat design. I actually have my own uh, width the two sensors connected and you can see it right here that's the board with the two sensors connected uh, to the camera mezzanine and also have the headers uh, header pins soldered onto the board so you can get access to a whole bunch of gpios on these two headers and two camera sensors on the back on the mezzanine board so today in this video we took a look at the design core camera mezzanine which is a 96 boards compliant mezzanine made by d3 engineering we unboxed it, plugged it into the Dragon Board. Rajan was kind enough to walk us through the specifications and a lot of the features. So if you're interested in checking out some of the resources that are available for you as of today, feel free to check out the description uh, for some various links. And stay tuned. In the next video, we'll actually end up uh, plugging the D3 mezzanine card on the Dragon Board, putting the Dragon Board up, and we'll see some options on how we can actually start using the camera mezzanine to start developing cool stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.